Andrea, and today I'm here with another podcast. Today we have a guest, and it's Dalia Nabira. So, in case you don't know who she is, she works in our household and helps us with some household chores. Okay, so let's start. Firstly, can you like tell us a bit about yourself and where you're from? My name is Jeliana Bera, Ugandan by nationality. Um, okay, so you're from Uganda? Yes. All right. How did so you so how did you start working like as a maid? I never had it in plan, but I was disappointed my baby daddy. That's why I decided to come abroad and start working as a maid. Ah, okay. So when you're working like What's your normal day? Like when you're working like normal days, what is it like? My normal day is always easier because my mother made for me a schedule that makes me feel like everything is easy for me because I stand according to what I'm supposed to do. So when you're like working, like are any part of your job like difficult? Not really. Okay. So you think like it's good, right? Yeah. Okay. So when you're like working, what's the most surprising thing you've learned while you were working? The most surprising thing that I have learned in this family is that I used to hear that people who work as a maid are always treated bad. But for me, I thank God that mine is different. I feel like a family with my fa- with my bosses. So you feel like good here? Yeah, I feel at home. Okay, that's good. All right. How do you like, when you're working, how do you manage your time between like when you're working and personal life? I don't let my personal life interfere with my job because my personal life is my personal life. It has nothing to do with my job. Even if I have my personal problems, I solve them myself and I come out and give them a smile as they deserve because I'm here to solve them the best I can. So even if, if, if you're upset, you come out and work like happy? I just pray. I get refreshing myself, I come out like nothing has happened because this has nothing to do with my bosses. This is personal. Okay. Like, do you have like any, like, have you worked with like different families? Yes, of course. Do you have any like special memories from working in different families? Not really because I normally mind my, my own business. I go there to work for them, so I don't normally interfere in what doesn't cost upon me. Ah, okay. So, so if someone, what if you knew someone who is about to start a job as a maid, what advice would you give them? Be truthful, not only to yourself, but truthful to the truth. Know what you want. Be with passion with what you're doing. Love your job. Do it with passion. Do all you can to make your bosses happy where you can, but not sacrificing yourself in the process. So you should feel happy while doing your job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should love your job. That's when you can get the benefit out of it. Like, have you ever faced such challenges while you're working? I thank God that I have not faced so much challenges into this work. But as you know, leaving your family and coming to another family is a little bit of challenging that is not always easy. So it's hard to find a family. Yeah, but alhamdulillah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, how do you like after work how do you like relax or spend time like for yourself like how do you have fun relax I love being alone when I'm done with work watching my tele, tele, telephone with myself movies something like that to see what is going on in the world okay yeah. so like so if you weren't working as a maid what other job would you be working on? I was I was a hairdresser in my country and whenever I'm not in the Middle East working as a maid, I always I am always self employed in my country. So okay. So like would you would you like like so kinda of like a salon? Yeah. Oh. When I'm done here I will be opening my own salon inshallah. All right. How do you stay motivated when things that get tough while you're working? How do you stay motivated? I stay motivated by praying so much and praying to God to let me pass through whatever has come my way. Okay. So, what's your favorite meal to like cook around when you're helping around the house? Mm-hmm. 
Chinese rice and pilau are the two best things that I like cooking the most. Oh, okay. What's the most like? What do you feel like when like? What's the most rewarding part to you when you're working with like different families? What's the most rewarding rewarding part? The most rewarding part is that I can afford to pay my bills without looking to anyone else's help. Uh huh. Okay. What's like? Okay, if someone was again starting this work, what important skills should they have when starting? The important skill they should have not to listen to the public opinions. Just put it in your heart that I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. Don't listen to whoever tells you that. Because by the time I came into this work, people told me, if you go there, you're going to be killed. If you go there, they are going to be using so many rubbish that he used to say about this job. But it's different case. That works very well if you believe in God and trust that with whatever happens in your life, Allah is always on your side. Nothing will ever stop you from entering this job. And trust me, you won't regret it if you have better intentions in it. Okay. How do you like stay organized and multitask while doing at once? How do I stay organized? Because I have the schedules that my madam did. That's why I am always organized. I follow the schedule. Then it helps me to be everything to be so, easier for me so it's helping you be planned yeah like prepared i wake up knowing what i'm gonna do like is like what's a common misconception people have about working as a maid they think working as a maid is less just like spending yourself or you look cheap which i don't think is true as long as something that you can do and for and pay your bills no one should give you the opinion about it if you feel like you're not comfortable with this job, I don't know what you're about because I feel like it's fine. It's fine. Do you ever, like, take time to learn new skills or try something new? Right now, not really. But if in my country, I would like to. I will really do that. Oh, okay. So, like... Will like, like, how do you feel like with the bond that you've created with families that you worked with? The bond I have created with this family, mostly this family that I'm working with right now, is the most beautiful family that I have worked with. That like makes me feel like I feel at home. Mm. Okay. And working with the people of the same religion, who has so much intentions of making every human happy makes me really good feel good so much okay so if you could share one message with the world like one deme- like with the world about domestic work what would it be domestic not listening to public opinions being truthful to everyone not even to yourself but being truthful to the truth knowing what you want in life or what you want to achieve in this job will give you the courage to keep on pushing and not even minding about what other people will say about the work you're doing. Okay, thank you for being in the podcast. I really like the answers, so thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, so that's the end of the, this podcast, so please like and subscribe. Bye.